Hello again, welcome back, my name is Fuds, to another unboxing video. It's not another loot crate, it's purple box. It's not actually a crate at all, the reason why it's a bit tearped on where it used to have labels on it. I've taken my labels off because it's got a dress and all that stuff on it. And this is another video game unboxing, like the Fallout one, uh, but a bit different to Fallout. As you can see, I have my own with a scale. I don't know why I've got an own with a scale, because I've also got a total reefer scale. As you can probably guess, this is a, a long-awaited. Wait, I always do a scale. <laughs> it's a long-awaited Atelier Sophie limited edition release in in the West. Without further ado, I'm going to move the, um, the the alchemist to one side. I'm going to actually go from the box. It's got a lovely delivery box actually from Nisa, and if I'm actually Software America Europe, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. Not only because I mispronounced Europe, but it's Nippon Itchy Software America Europe. Yeah. So let's get into it. I'm going to try and do this slightly off camera because I could very well be a slip inside with my name on it, which will be kind of bad for camera. It would mean I have to do a bit more editing later. Because whilst I don't mind you seeing my face, I've not got a face cam at the moment. And I'm not really one for showing my face online anyway because of people like your monitors. I don't want to crack them. My face shouldn't really be too much, will we? But anyway, let's get into this box. So what we have? We have... Bubble Wrap! Bubbles! Let's get that out. And that out. And move it to one side, because the box is now empty, as you can see. So first things first... I don't know why I want bubble wrap on there, but I do. My life, they really do like their bubble wrap at Nippon Itchy, don't they? So what do we have? We have, first of all, Atelier Sofa cards. Now, if you're not actually playing the Atelier games, they are games on the PlayStation. Uh, you got Atelier, Verona, Totri, Meru, Asia, um, Atelier Eskil Noji and Atelier Shally on the PS3. And those are only the six most recent games. Well, seven now, because we've also got Atelier Sophie being released in the UK and America on PS4. I think you can also get them on PS Vita, but why play them on Vita when you can play them on a, on a full PlayStation? So, um, as you can probably tell from this. Uh, Cutting there, I'm cutting into these cards. I think these are just postcards, art like cards, whatever. Yep, you can see you got. Well, that's Sophie. I can't remember who she is, but I know she's a main character as well. Atelier Sophie wearing a cute outfit. A Sophie with her two friends, one which looks a lot like Linka. That's a classic image of Sophie. And that's one of the other character. Can't remember what her name is again, which is mysterious. And that's a snowy field. Let's put that there so we don't see that. Okay, we've also got the game, which we'll get to in a moment. That's it for this bubble wrap. I'll put it to one side for now. Tell you what. We don't actually need this bubble wrap here at all, so I'll just lay my postcard, our cards, whatever, out. In a nice fan. Also, move my uh, Atelier out way so you can see it properly. I'll move my bubble wrap away. Next up, we have this. Don't know what it is. Cloth poster, I believe. In terms of the games, they always seem to do good stuff. So what do we have here? We've got a, yeah, definitely a cloth fit poster. And you can't probably get it all on camera once, so try and get it there. 
So I'm gonna have to move the out of the way, sorry. Uh, sorry, a uh, totary. So her name isn't actually totary, it's um, Toturia, which is probably even worse than totary actually. But if I fuzzle that away a bit, and put that one there, let's see if it's actually a nice little crease mark we can easily iron them out. Image of the main characters. The Atelier Games has a very. The only real way to describe the art style of characters and the design of a character's costume is lacy. That's lacy, not racy, by the way. Um, there's nothing racy about the Atelier Games. They're attractive, but they're not attractive in that way. They're cute and adorable rather than being hot and sexy. Then so you've got the um, cloth poster. Don't know if I'm going to put that up anywhere. I do maybe in the office to give myself something nice to look up throughout the day. And the third thing is the game. Actually, it's got that one there again. Your side, you got that one. And Spine, you just got the name of the game. And it's produced by Nifonichi, released by Curry Tecmo and Gust. Yeah, let's get into a game, shall we? I'm not one for toying around um, polyphane wrapping and all that nonsense. Some people would keep this sealed forever, but I want to play with the game, goddammit. And what we get in here, we get that. The first thing you should notice is a hand hold here, which means there's a CD underneath it. And yep, there's definitely a CD. Let's get the first thing out. We have the Atelier Sophie official, official art block. It's nice hardback. I think the cover's actually thicker than Mitchell illustrations, isn't it? And yeah, illustrations, different characters, just official artwork, see you sitting everywhere. And you got um, Sophie Neuenmuller, that's the design. Plakta, that's the design. Uh, Monica Ellen Reich, Oscar Bellheimer, Julio Sibald Leisenschaft, Cornelia. Harold Siemens, Fritz Weisberg, Leon, Pamela Ibis. Yep, if you recognise Atelier Games, you will recognise that character. And Logi. Yes, that is the same Logic's Frixario from the Atelier Esco and Logi game. Apparently, it's not the same Logi, but it's the same effective character. Atomina, Mechlet, Nazareth. Marguerite, Elise, Tess, Horst, and image boards. Yeah, a pretty standard art book, nice firm cover. We've also got the CD. Atelier Sophie, The Alchemist of a Mysterious Book, Sound Archives, Dion and Nocturne. Dion and Nocturne, isn't that something like Night and Day? Definitely seems to be a decent size soundtrack as well, because you can see from the back there, that's all track listing there. So yeah, that's one thing I'm going to be listening to at some point, because the tele games have decent music. Let's see if there's anything interesting actually in the soundtrack. Get into a CD without damaging the cover. Some people just for MP3s to CDs, and I can see why, but you, you miss out on things like that with CDs, the nice little inserts and physical tactile of having a CD. Yeah. But you also miss out on that sort of thing, uh, creaky CD cases. And the last thing in here, as you can probably tell, is the game. Only on PlayStation, only in PlayStation, PS4 version, of course. Let's get into it. And in case you're wondering, yes, you will be able to see this on my channel at some point. I'm not sure if I'm going to do streaming of it yet or just uh, upload to YouTube. But yeah, you got the limited warranty thing. 
And you got the uh, game. That lovely new game smell. It's rated Peggy 12, PG and, and USK 12, in case you're interested. Don't know what it's like in America in terms of rating, but it has Japanese and English voice. Sometimes it's English. Text in English. Network features. No idea what that is. Um, remote play supporters. So you can play it on your Vita if you want to. It's got cross features. Because they're releasing this on Vita as well, if you buy it on Vita, you can actually cross save over to PS4 as well. Which is kind of cool. So yeah, that is the Atelier Sophie limited edition European release. I quite enjoy it. I like that actually. The book is not. The book is okay. CD I listen to. That's going to go up on the wall. They're probably going to get locked away somewhere, never to really be worried about again. So I think we really need at this point some more Atelier games. Now that Koei is a lot more connected with Gust, can we have an Atelier Musu, please? That would be absolutely awesome. So until then. Bye-bye.